Richard Southern joins us for our interesting stories of the day chat. And Richard, a Toronto woman is feeling tapped out, let's say, after claiming the TTC's <laughs> new payment system double charged her during a recent streetcar ride. They only started doing this yesterday. So I, have you had a chance to try it yet? I Erica? haven't tried it yet, no. Uh, you, you, I, I have, actually. I okay. went to the Jays game last night, and I used it on the way home from the Jays game. You can just tap your debit or credit card on the Presto reader instead of using your Presto card. We did, though, here at City News, hear from a, a, a Toronto woman who claimed she was charged twice because of this. She got on the Queen Street card yesterday, was charged when she tapped her credit card. But then she says she got a, not a, no, uh, got a notification from her credit card company later in the day when she wasn't on the streetcar saying she was charged. Uh, she spoke, she said to someone at Presto, and they said, hey, the machine may have read your card twice. She got one of those RFID blockers uh, to put her card right. in, which might not be a, a good idea. But you know what? I looked into this because when I tapped my credit card, I was immediately charged a dollar. And I thought to myself, oh, I've gotten a deal here. I'm not going to tell anyone about this. But then later, it uh, charged me the full $3.35 amount. Mm -hmm. Apparently, what happens is they put a, like a dollar hold on your card and then at the end of the day, charge you the full amount. So you may think you're getting charged twice. You're not. Keep that in mind if you're trying this. Yeah, definitely. Okay, and there's new research out on the relationship between dogs and humans. And it turns out all that puppy love may be helping our furry friends live healthier lives. Happy you could have written that study, right, Erica? <laughs> yeah, I might have commissioned that study. <laughs> you, you knew this was the case. Uh, but sure enough, they, they looked into it, and uh, it says now dogs, good for them to socialize with both humans and other pets. It can help them live longer. Researchers looked at 21,000 dogs and found that social time with both people and other animals had the greatest influence among uh, the, uh, the health of the dogs. Interestingly enough, the same study also found that poorer health among dogs was found when they lived in households with financial difficulties oh. or other stressors. Isn't that yeah. interesting, Erica? Yeah, I mean, they might take that on a little bit, right, if they're stressed out as well. So I try to socialize observant. my dog. She's a little snobby, though. <laughs> you need to lie to, lie to Luna about how much money you're pulling in, though. <laughs> you make yeah. her feel happier. Millions. Okay, Millions. Charge, <laughs> charges have been laid in Paris, France, after two drunk tourists allegedly spent the night at a popular landmark. Oh, no. Uh, American tourists. Uh, Erica, like, you know, we, when you're on the road, you always got to remind people, I'm Canadian. Uh, so security guards, they were making the rounds at the Eiffel Tower in the middle of the night. They were surprised to find... Two tourists passed out. The guards roused them to find the gentlemen were still kind of inebriated. Turns out the men had entered the Eiffel Tower during the day, but had apparently been so drunk, they found themselves trapped at an off-limit spot between the second and third levels. Couldn't get out, fell asleep. The French prosecutor's office said a fine for trespassing was dismissed as there was no apparent damage. I love the Paris cafes, Erica, and it is fun to have some wine, but with Paris hotel prices, you better believe I'm finding my way back <laughs> to that bed that I paid so much for. Yeah. Yeah, not standing at the Eiffel Tower, but it's a story, no, I guess, <laughs> for them. Something to tell yeah. afterwards, that's for sure. All right, thanks, Richard. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.